you. Blue Mesa Reservoir. It is the largest body of water in all of Colorado, but it hardly looks the part right now as water levels inch closer to record lows not seen in more than 30 years. It's forcing the National Park Service and visitors to change their habits on the lake. News 5's Sam Kramer takes us there. There's a reason Springs native Tony Jansen loves life in Gunnison. A lot of reasons, actually. Hunting, fishing, uh, bike trails out your back door, hiking. Um, I mean, living an outdoor easy life is a uh, part of the appeal of the Gunnison. But coming to Blue Mesa Reservoir to test out his new boat doesn't have the same feeling it usually does. You know, it's, it's depressing, to be honest. Uh, we knew that it was a bad winter, but we didn't realize it was going to affect us this much. That's because Blue Mesa is currently at 39% capacity and headed for historic lows still this year. It's a daily phenomenon. Sandy Snell Dobert is public information officer for the park. We're talking on the ramp at Elk Creek Marina, normally underwater right now. We have diminishing opportunities to put your boat on the water. Our ramps are getting narrower and shorter as the water decreases, so it's a challenge. A challenge that's forced the National Park Service to close or limit recreation across the reservoir. Iola Boat Ramp is already closed for the year as the Park Service asks people to get their boats out at other ramps. Most boaters have already given up because it's just so very shallow. Um, we'll see that there is a lot of mud there um, and there's just not much room for putting a boat in and once you do, it's kind of hard to find a place to go because the water is so very shallow. This is why Iola is closed. A glance to the east reveals the sudden end of the reservoir, a sandy muddy beach, even fresh vegetation. So how did we get here? Last winter we had very little snowfall in the Gunnison Basin and that is our major source of precipitation. The same dry spell responsible for increased fire danger also crippling water storage at Blue Mesa. In fact, the USDA drought monitor shows Gunnison County still experiencing extreme drought. We had so little rainfall that we just didn't add any more to the to the basin water supply. Now Snell Dobert says the Park Service hopes for a normal winter to help refill the reservoir as the boaters that are still here try to enjoy the water while they can even if it nears record low levels. Colorado is resilient you know we we go through this every four to eight years you know granted it's not this bad but uh you know we've been through it before. Always watching out for you Colorado Sam Kramer News 5. Sam says it's also important to note that Blue Mesa provides water for irrigation uses downstream as well as electricity. Meanwhile, Snell Dobert says boaters should be very careful and attentive if they still decide to take out the boat as low water levels are revealing more hazards every day. We'll be right back.